so when you see that, um, you see that happen over and over again, and you, you still you see it again. You see people um, fighting for the right to be a hoe, okay? The right to be a hoe, the right to be a real nigga, the right to be yeah. a, I'm a real nigga. And I'm like, what is that? How much does that pay, okay? <laughs> how, how much does that pay? How are okay? the benefits? <laughs> what a benefit package at, okay? Do you get respect from some, some more real niggas? You know, I'm a, I admit, I, can, I consider you one of the realest cats I've met in a long time, dude, okay? You, We've been doing this almost two years. You got me started on this YouTube thing, okay? You got me started, and you, and you, and you, and you, and you stay true to your word from day one. That's real, okay? I'm not going to call you a real nigga. You're just a real dude in my book, man. That's why we're here today, okay? And... Mm -hmm. To see brothers uh, accept that title, like it's, it's a badge of honor, you can be real, man, but you ain't gotta be all that. You ain't gotta be a real nigga, okay? Yeah. And because real niggas do some fucked up shit. Real niggas will break into your house and help you look for your shit, okay? Mm -hmm. real, niggas, <laughs> real, real niggas will break into your car and help you look for your radio, okay? That's what real niggas do. Real niggas uh, will, will be trying to bone your girl when you go to the store, okay? Real niggas yeah. do that, okay? They don't have yeah. no damn, ain't, ain't no lines. I'm just, she fine, got, I got a test for you, you know what I'm saying? No, you don't. No, you don't. I'm a real nigga. I got a test that bitch, see what's up. No, nigga, you, 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 you give me an excuse for being ignorant now, for being disrespectful, okay? Yep. You give me a reason, I, 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 have, I may have to whoop your ass, okay? I'm not gonna kill you. Cause if she give you some, she must wanted you to have it, okay? You didn't take it, okay? But the fact is, you disrespected me, I gotta whoop your ass, okay? Yeah. That's as simple as that, okay? But everything ain't a death sentence, man. That's why that's why hood peace is very important to me. It's very important to the community. I have a series of signs, I'm, I'm yard signs. Because what I realized, even though I stopped through churches from time to time, I'd have been every I'd have been to every church. I was brought up Catholic. I stopped, I went to mosque for a while with my cousins. My girlfriend became cat uh, became Christian. I became Christian. I changed churches when I, you know, I've been to uh, agape. I've been to all kinds of things. And what I realized is in most cases, you don't see the active people in the churches. You don't see the active gangbangers in the churches. You see their mamas in the church. You see their girlfriends in the church. You don't see the active gangbangers in the streets, in the church. Mm -hmm. So I want to do a, a series of street signs so these guys can see what the neighborhood is thinking as they ride down the street, man. You know, put them on their mind. I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm not sure. I know we will change people overnight. But if we can just have an impact on some people, man, you know what, man? Let's, let's squash that, dude. You know, maybe somebody will think before he pulled the trigger if he see one of these signs, man. Mm. Hood Peace, because uh, Hood Peace is like straight out of Compton. You know, uh, straight, out of, uh, straight out of Compton had, had the posters going straight out of Inglewood, straight out of Compton, mm -hmm. straight out of uh, Palmdale, whatever. Well, Hood Peace is Hood Peace, do it for the kids. Hood Peace, do it for your mama. Hood peace, do it for the hood. Hood peace, mm -hmm. coming to a hood near you if you allow it. So it's hood peace is the logo, but there's several several reasons to justify hood peace. Do it for your grandkids, okay? Do it for your grandkids. Do you want your grandkids to grow up in the same craziness that you grew up in? Do you think your grandkids have the same uh, defense mechanisms to go through what you did? Do you want them not to go through what you did? See, we as black folks forgot that theoretically every generation is supposed to do better than the last. Okay? But some people had it so rough, they don't care about the people behind them. I had to get mine, you got to get his too. Yeah, that, that, it, but the rest of the world thinks in terms of, okay, I got mine, I'm going to leave these fools, I'm $4 million, a million dollar policy, so the house is paid for and college is paid for. When they leave, yeah. when I leave here, they're going to be all right. Like, they may mess it up. But somebody gonna get it right, okay? So it's a whole different mindset, and that's what hood piece is about, man. Hood piece is about trying to uh, affect the mindset of the community, man. While Black Lives Matter deal with the police, we trying to deal with some brothers in the hood, man. To I want to, I want to get with you offline because I've been looking for an organization to get involved with, specifically around this topic. As you know, I do my show on my own channel. And I interview OG gangsters. I don't like to interview the young guys, 20s, 30s. I interview people 40 and above, 50s, perfects, even close to 60. 
And the purpose of my channel is not to glorify gang life, but to, to show that, you know, there isn't, is this something you really want to do? That's why I like to talk to the OGs. And I really feel like you and I can partner on this and maybe even get some of the OGs involved. That I, I would love, but we'll, we'll talk more offline, but I definitely would love to, uh, to get involved with this, with, with Hood Peace. This is right up my alley. Thank you, Doc. Uh, yeah, you know, well, a, lot of, a lot of my buddies, man, who was who was heavy in the gang banging, who still wanted to survive, um, they wouldn't do it again, man. They said it was no benefit. Yeah, it was no benefit. I literally, I've never ran into a fifty-five year old gangster who said, "I'll do, I'll do that all over again." It, most of them said, "No, nah, man, it, it didn't do me no good." I ran with the homie. We all went to jail together too. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, we, 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 you know, and it, it's like it's it's it's, the, it's it's something that cats do. A lot of guys do. They don't have anything else, but once they get into it and go through it, they realize, man, I wasted a lot of time for that. You know, I got out, I went to jail. One of my boys, said he, uh, one of these guys went to jail 15 years, got out. Everybody in the hood was gone. Everybody in the hood was gone. He went to the hood, everybody was gone. Well, nobody yeah. there but their mamas. Mm. And he, he came back trying to, trying to bring back the same thing. Dude, I got a job, man. I got kids, dude. I'm not doing that no more. And when wow. we got to ride, we no, no, you know we don't, no, we don't, okay. Mm -hmm. And you know he he really felt felt bad and stupid that he had committed himself and gave him fifteen years of his life to something that when he came back, did it existed, but it wasn't the same way that he left it. And the guys who was trying to represent it, still trying to keep it going on, didn't understand his code, didn't understand his his loyalty, didn't understand nothing because the game has changed considerably, man. Everything has changed. 